Hi, my friends. Today we're going to read one of my favorite books. It's called Jubal's Wish. And it's by Dawn and Audrey Wood. Um, this time, Dawn and Audrey Wood are uh, married. And this time, Audrey Wood wrote the story. And Dawn Wood did the pictures. But sometimes they switch. And Dawn Wood will write the story. And Audrey Wood will do the pictures. But this time it's written by Audrey Wood, and Dawn Wood was the illustrator. Jubal's Wish by Dawn and Audrey Wood. To Bonnie and Zach, that's who it's dedicated to. love the illustrations. This is Jubal Bullfrog. Once upon a bright and sunny day, Jubal Bullfrog skipped down the flower path. He was so happy, his feet barely touched the ground. Before long, he came to the, cot the cottage of Gertie Toad and her seven toadlets. Whackety whack! Gertie was outside beating a dirty old rug with her broom. A happy sunny day to you, dear friend, Jubal exclaimed. What's so happy about it? Gertie snapped. The toadlets are into everything and my house is a mess. For all I care, it could be raining. But... I've made a picnic to share, Jubal said, holding up his basket. Picnic? I don't have time for that, Gertie grumped. Work, work, work. That's all I ever do. Gertie Toad heaved the rug over her shoulder and stomped into her cottage. Jubal looked up. The sky was blue and the birds were singing and the trees were singing in the trees. A splendid feeling of wonder moved from his toes to the tip of his nose. Grasping his basket, Jubal skipped on, whistling a happy tune. down by the river, Jubal found Captain Delbert Lizard lounging in the shade of his sailboat, the Molly Bee. A happy sunny day to you, dear friend, Jubal exclaimed. The lizard opened one eye and sighed. My happy days are over, he said. Once I was a great captain bound for adventure with a fine crew, but now no one wants to sail in an old boat with an old captain. I know just what you need, Jubal said, holding up his basket. A picnic always makes everything better. Sorry, Jubal, Captain Delbert said as he slowly climbed the ladder to his cabin. I'm not in the mood. Jubal thought, maybe I should be unhappy too. But the fresh grass and the sweet flowers smelled so good, Jubal popped down beneath the daisy and took a deep breath. He leaned back and he closed his eyes and he said, I wish there was something I could do to make my friends as happy as I am on this glorious day. A butterfly came dancing over his head and landed on the daisy. And then something wondrous happened. A great hand reached down and scooped Jubal high into the air. Do you need a wish? A wizard asked, startling the bullfrog. 
reaching into his pocket, the wizard brought out a small twinkling star. It's a wish, he said, and it's yours if you want it. A wish? exclaimed Jubal. Do they really come true? Dreams and wishes, wishes and dreams, the wizard said with a wink. Sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. You never know how they'll turn out in the end. The bullfrog took the twinkling star and held it next to his heart. I wish Gertie Toad's housework was all done and her toadlets were well behaved and Captain Delbert had his adventures back. That is my wish. Jubal opened his eyes. He was back beneath the daisy. The wizard was gone and the twinkling wish had disappeared. Racing over to the molly bee, he hurried up the ladder. Captain, Captain, he called out, knocking on the captain's door. Are you happy now? The door slowly opened and Captain Delbert squinted out at the bullfrog. Oh, Juba, he groaned. I bumped my head and I stubbed my toe and I burned my biscuits. Somebody must have put a curse on me. Go away and leave an old salt to his troubles. Oh. As Jubal walked back up the path, a dark cloud gathered in the sky, hiding the sun. When the bullfrog passed Gertie Toad's cottage, he heard her yelling inside, Stop squabbling! What a mess! Pick up your toys! Thunder boomed and lightning flashed. Before long, Jubal came to a large toadstool. He climbed up and he sat down to think. <sighs> My wish didn't work. That wizard tricked me. Captain Delbert and Gertie are more miserable than ever. And what has happened to my happy sunny day? A tear trickled down his cheek just as the first drop of rain plopped onto his nose. Jubal sobbed and the rain poured down. The rain made deep puddles and the puddles ran together and formed a stream and the stream grew wider and soon it became a rushing river. Jubal didn't notice what was happening until icy water washed over his toes. Oh dear, he cried, it's a flood, I'll be swept away. Great waves rolled toward the bullfrog. Help! Somebody save me! He shouted. I'm stranded! A faint voice called out in the distance. Jubal! Where are you? I'm over here! He yelled, trying to see through the blinding rain. A struggling sailboat bobbed into view. Hang on, Jubal! An anxious voice called out. We're almost there. The sailboat fought its way through the storm until it struck the toadstool with a bump. Gertie and her toadlets pulled Jubal from the stormy water just in time. Welcome aboard, matey, 
Captain Delbert shouted as he slapped his friend on the back. What a day, eh? I haven't seen this much action since the Typhoon of 49. Good work, Toadlets. You are a fine crew. Aye, aye, Captain, the Toadlets agreed. Oh, Jubal, I'm so glad you're safe, Gertie Toad said, hugging him. It's a miracle. Our cottage floated away, and Captain Delbert rescued us all. <gasps> Gracious, Jubal exclaimed. What will you do now? I know what to do, the captain said. We'll go on a grand adventure. The Toadlets will be my crew and Gertie will make a great first mate. If you're needing a cook, Jubal said, holding up his picnic basket, our first meal is ready to serve. Let's eat, Captain Delbert exclaimed. Just then the sun appeared in the sky, making a rainbow over the water. It's like a dream or a wish come true, Gertie said. Dreams and wishes, wishes and dreams, Jubal said with a wink. Sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. You never know how they'll turn out in the end. Thank you for listening to one of my favorite stories. We'll see you next time. Bye.